Now let's look at some position versus time graphs. Let's see if your position versus time graph is any kind of a straight line. It can be going up, horizontal, or slanted downward. If your position versus time graph is any of these straight lines, what can you say about the velocity and acceleration of the object? Now, if those graphs are straight line, what we can say about the velocity is from the position versus time graph, your velocity is the slope of the graph. If it is a straight line, that means that the velocity is a, a constant. So the velocity doesn't change. If it has a positive slope, the velocity is a positive constant. The velocity is a zero constant. The velocity is a negative constant. That means uh, the acceleration has got to be zero. What if your position versus time graph is some sort of a upward curve like that? What can you say about the acceleration of the object? Since the velocity is the slope of this graph. Having an upward curve means that the slope at first is negative and then it gets less and less negative and then the slope is zero and then it turns more and more positive which means that the velocity is getting more and more positive less and less negative and then more and more positive so the velocity is changing in a positive x direction which means the acceleration which is delta V over delta T must be positive. What if your position versus time graph is uh, any part of a downward curve? In this case, your velocity, still the slope of the graph, it would start out with a, a positive slope. And then it gets uh, less and less positive, and then the slope becomes zero, and then more and more negative. So the velocity is changing in a negative x direction. Less and less positive, and then more and more negative. So the acceleration, which is the changing velocity divided by the changing time, is uh, negative. It doesn't have to be an entire curve like this. It can be a portion of the curve. So let's do some practice. Now take a look at these three graphs. See if you can figure out whether their velocity and acceleration are positive, negative, or zero for each of these. So for this one, since the velocity is the slope of the graph, and the slope is negative, so the velocity is negative. Acceleration would be positive because it's part of a upward curve. This one, the velocity is the slope. The slope is positive, so velocity is positive. The acceleration is negative because it is part of a downward curve. For this one, the velocity is uh, negative because the slope is negative. Acceleration is also negative because this graph is a, a part of a downward curve. Now let's look at these three graphs again. In which of these is the object speeding up? In which of these is the object slowing down? In this one, the velocity is in the negative x direction, acceleration positive x direction. Opposite directions, that means the object is slowing down. These two, also opposite directions. If velocity and acceleration, they are in opposite directions, the object is slowing down. These ones, they are both in the negative x direction. So this object is speeding up. So the acceleration being positive does not guarantee the object to be speeding up. Acceleration being negative does not guarantee the object to be slowing down. 
It, it also depends on the sign for velocity. If they carry the same signs, same direction, speeding up. If they carry opposite signs, opposite direction, which means the object is slowing down.